Hey everybody, hey, this is uh, Sean. And again, it's been a long time since uh, we've done a, I've done a video post for you guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know that the movie, movie project Red Shadow is still going on. Uh, again, as some of you know, I have uh, Josh Bean. He's working on the soundtrack. We have it pretty much done. We just got to send it off to you, so we're making good progress there. Hopefully, I will have a big update for you guys by the end of the month. End of January, so two weeks, so bear with me. Again, I apologize, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. But we are making headway, and again, hopefully in the next two weeks, I pray to Nao Queen Serenity that this will happen. Like that, that I will have a big update for you guys. But what I wanted to do is I thought, I, I fall in the pursuit of a lot of other of our mutual friends, or Sailor Moon friends, and just show why I consider myself a Sailor Moon super fan, too. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to start with the obvious. You guys have all seen the tattoos. Okay? You got, you got, you got the, the symbols, you got Sailor Moon, and then you got Jupiter, and the others on this arm. Just to let you know, come April, I'm probably going to get another two more. More than likely Sailor Mercury on this arm, and Neo Queen Serenity on this arm. Okay? Now, as you can see around me, this is my, my gym. This is where I work out, this is where I train. And, as inspiration, just to prove it off, I have the sailors looking out for me, giving me inspiration as I work out. So here, here's the first part of my collection, the Sailor Moon wall scroll. Okay. Okay. So now we're now we're changing location. Now we're upstairs. Dude, I wanted to show you a lot of you know a lot of people know that I'm, my wife and I, Veronica White, are big cosplayers, big Sailor Moon cosplayers, in fact. So I wanted to show you guys our cosplay closet. I kind of think of it as Mr. Dress's Tinkle Trunk. So, yeah. so, as some of you probably saw, this is Veronica's uh, Princess Mercury dress I bought for her in November, too. So, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Sarah Dostel for helping us find it, because it looks great on her. Yeah. So, that's, that's her Princess Mercury. Okay. Now, here, here's the famous tuxedo mask thing. So we got the cape, we got the jacket, the dress, the tuxedo shirt is in there as well. And the hat, again, if you can see down here on the bed here, the hat, the flowers, the wig, the bow tie, everything's in there. So that's that, the that's tuxedo costume. Hopefully you can see it through the plastic. I apologize if the glare's not there. Tuxedo shirt. Tuxedo pants. Okay, now here's here's one that a lot of the girls will like. Here's Veronica's Sailor Mercury costume. Two. Two. So again, gloves, skirt, bow, got everything. We went we went all out on it. Two. Now here's the other thing that Veronica has. This is Veronica's Princess Serenity dress too. So you can see this dress just keeps going and going. <laughs> it's kind of heavy actually too, but... Try wearing it. <laughs> I'll take your word on that. Like that. But again, beautiful detail. Very nice. Hold it up again. I want to zoom in on it. Pretty. Yes. Corset and everything. <laughs> I get it. Now, here, here's the, uh, the latest in our costumes. Again, some of you may have seen pictures of this. This is part... Oops. Oh, okay. Well, we lost that. This is a little bit of my Endymion costume. Or Prince, Prince Darien, however you guys know it as. Dude, so again, we got the vest, we got the body armor, we got the cape, we got the uh, pants. We got the, well, I'm going to say these are supposed to be the uh, metal thigh guards, but... Uh, it Ron mostly looks like a foam diaper. <laughs> it's fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. No, it, way, no it's a spectacular you know, costume. Really be you for that. It's a spectacular costume, yeah. and I bow to the master of making costumes because Sean rocks at this. He yeah. finds the pieces, puts them together, and it's amazing. Exactly. Now, here, now just because this is, a, you know, this is for the movie Red Shadow... I'll show you something that's not really Sailor Moon related, but related to, to this movie project. This is the Carnage 
that mm. bodysuit that I had made. So again, it's skin tight, so I really have to <laughs> work on that. But you know what? If you see, if you've seen the pictures, it looks really good. Like that too. I got I got the mask up here. Yeah, stuck there. So I got the mask. Which we totally made. Yeah, we, we kind of, we, this is a totally 100% refurbished uh, Halloween mask that we just kind of applied. Shanika Productions. <laughs> <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> that too, and then again the various... Uh, let me stick this thing up. Uh, sticky. So we got... Now again, this is a work in progress for additional appendage. This is a devil's pitchfork that we're just kind of going to figure out how we can make it look like it's part of the body. We got the axe blade. Uh, okay, well, this is uh, there we, go. we got the hand, the enlarged claw, our hand. Which is just downright creepy if you see it in real life. Yeah, exactly. We got just some basic tendrils that, again, if you can imagine, when you're in the bodysuit, it looks like it's coming right at you. So, I mean, that's, that's a great effect. And of course, we got my personal favorite. We got the old pickaxe, too. So, you can imagine, so you're not going to be striking for gold with this, but like that, too. So, and oh, let me show you on the other side here. So, now, when Veronica got her dress, they sent her butterfly wings for some strange reason. So I guess they got a little confused with uh, Neo Queen Serenity, I guess. But so we got a pair of butterfly wings that we might either use in a future Sailor Moon costume, or we might give to us to one of you guys if you ever want to borrow it or use it. Now the Franca shoulder pads, which we made as well. Yep, yeah, from yeah, the refurbished thing. God bless Michael's craft store. <laughs> too. So these are for her shoulder pads for her Serenity. Sailor Mercury's boots. Can't really see them, but they're in there. They're really cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah. Well, take a look at the pictures, and you'll see her in there. And then we got very, we got a basket full of like hair nets Various and props. jewelry, and yep. Yeah. Let me just pull some of these out here. Let me pull some of the big stuff out. Ah, here we go. For Serenity, we got choice of two crested moon wands. One of these works, I think. Yeah. Okay, maybe the battery died. <laughs> yep, maybe okay. The battery died on this one, but yep, they work. Oh, there we go. So we got mm -hmm. that one. We'll turn that back off so it doesn't hit that of accident. We got those. And we have, can we see, this is Ronga's Mercury thing. So we got necklace, tiara, yeah, tiara um, earrings. You can see you got, you got the, the um, transformation wand right there in the corner. I no, I got a really good shot of that actually. Sure? I got a really good shot of that actually. Oh, there we go. Pearls, they sent us pearl necklaces for some reason as well. Chokers, we got extra chokers. We got a basically, there we go. So we got this. I think I got this from the Catsy, Catsy Collectibles. They made that up, I think. I remember that correctly. But yeah, it was really good quality. We were very really impressed. We got tons of chokers. We got. Roses, we got silk gloves for the tuxedo costume. So we got every pretty much everything that we would want. Everything imaginable pretty much. <laughs> well everything we need for the current costumes. Uh yep, yeah, and this is my brother's this next stuff over there, but yep, yeah, so that's uh, that's the cosplay closet. Moving right along. Say goodbye for now. Okay, and so now here we are in the last part. This is this is my uh my sanctum, if you will. Man cave. Yeah, man cave. Hey, wait, 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 don't reveal okay. it too much yet. Gotta, gotta give us something here. Okay, so first off, here's another part of the cosplay. This is my tuxedo mask cane. So I just keep around because it looks cool. <laughs> like that. Again, this is again spray painted it black, spray painted the top to kind of get the thing. I know uh, fan people will say it's supposed to be gold or gold, but uh, I went with the uh, man manga, manga version. And I think maybe the manga version has a white head. So that's like that's the tuxedo cane. Now, if you look up here, this is another part of our uh, thing. I know it looks a little creepy to have wig wigs in a man's room, but you know it's nice and high, nice high shelf and nice to put to use. So we got so Franca has two Sailor Moon wigs 
Um, again, this is the one that we used for the Princess Serenity pictures because it still has the pearl earrings or pearl pearl uh, braids. Clips. Clips. Thank you. In there too, a little bit of a flower from the from the laurels. <laughs> this is a little bit more of a messy usagi <laughs> thing that our friend, our friend who's a hairstylist, tried to uh, kind of fix up. And salvage. <laughs> salvage because uh, it didn't turn out too well when we bought it. So, you know, God bless her for trying. Thank you, Michelle Smikolas. And of course, the famous Mercury wig that band completes Veronica's Sailor Mercury costume. Which actually looks, Michelle's responsible for that one too, she cut it. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. Yeah, so Michelle, you know, if you ever have a wig that needs selling, I recommend Michelle if you're in Canada, <laughs> too. Okay, I'll send you the number if you actually are serious. But too, again, not really related, but sort of, but sort of related. Can you see the poster? Yep. Okay, so Spider-Man, obviously, but the one that I want to point out, since we're talking about Red Shadow, up there in the corner, is our is our boy Carnage. There we go. Up there. So he's again not not the hero in this poster, but again, because this is Red Shadow, we're showing him anyway. Okay, now here is my action figures. <laughs> action figures. I'm sorry. You're the only boy I know who has Sailor Moon action figures, just for the record. Any boy that you know of yet. That's true too. Keep that. So again, here's my thing. Again, I'd like to thank, uh, well, I'd like to thank Sarah and I believe Samara Wesley who gave me, who helped me get these. So again, I got uh, three, so I got two outers, three inners, if you want to count that. So I got Uranus, Neptune, I got Tibiusa, technically an inner, but daughter, whatever you want to call it. Sailor Moon and Jupiter. Sailor Moon came from Vancouver, so it came across country with me when I went to see Sarah and Paul and everybody in uh, August and the rest came from Samara. Now the only thing I just want to point out is whoever designed these things did not account for it was a fatal topic because if I pulled this away. Oh look at this. Oh actually worked out. Okay never mind. Mars right. Mars was Mars was when I got from Mars she was tilting she was tilting over because her legs were too thin. But now uh, apparently she's got over her alcoholism. <laughs> okay. We all do at some point. We all do at some point. Again, do you want to again point out the man? We got Carnage again, Red Shadow, tie in. That too. Now, I'm going to show, if we scan, look down here. Okay, so what we have here is we got a collection of stuff. So here we are. Here's Veronica and I, full costume. This is Vince, one of the voice, the one of the uh, three tuxedo voices. Mask is vo voice. Yeah, one of the voices of Tuxedo Mask. And just as a personal note, he was very impressed that I was the only one that actually looked like the character <laughs> that he saw all that weekend. This is from Anime Revolution in the summer. Well, it was kind of a mission to put that costume together, too, because yeah. like there was so many different pieces. Yeah. So, that too. so I'd like to thank Sarah and Troy and everybody for you know making Veronica Nice Time in Vancouver very great. It was awesome. Of course, we got the woman herself. We got the voice of Sailor Jupiter, Susan Roman. She was so nice too. Yes, she was so nice too. She was very, she was very flattered that I had a, a Sailor a Sailor Jupiter tattoo. She was, she kept <laughs> wanting to look at it every time I ran into her because she could, I just couldn't believe it. And again, just the extension of that we got, again a nice art drawing that we found that's on sale for Sailor Jupiter. And we got Su Susan to go back and sign it too. So she was happy. She was really happy with uh, the picture. I know it's not center, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry, but this is a little dusty. Okay, so here we got Sailor Mars, and again, I don't know if you can see it. I like that one. If you see it in the corner there, we got that signed. Hopefully that comes out clearly. Nope. Nope? Okay. <laughs> it is signed, though. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because it's black ink. Let me just zoom it in here. No, it is. Okay, but it's signed by Kathy Griffith, the voice of Sailor Mars. I know it's... Katie. Have... Katie. Katie Griffin, sorry. Ooh. No, I remember that because we got her her CD. She has an audio CD out, and I actually reviewed it as a yeah, music reviewer. We have, we have her CD around here somewhere. It's really good. That too, but yeah, if it, it's signed, so I can assure you that. Of course, a lot of fans will be happy with this. We got Sailor Moon herself. We got Ter Terry Hawks, also a very you know nice lady to talk to. Too. So again, she was very she was very impressed with our costumes too. And again. We really wish that Veronica's visor didn't break this day because, yeah. <laughs> like that, we we Veronica had a blue the blue visor and she was so happy for it and it broke just as we were waiting in line. So, yeah, the strap snapped, but it's yeah. all good. But it's repaired now, so don't worry about that. It's still yeah. a really cool costume. Yeah, and then this is this is again. I think you had to back up a wee bit. This this is the crown jewel, if you will. I'm break this thing. 
like that too. This is, we had, there was about six voice actors from Sailor Moon at any member Revolution in August, and I got all of them too. So you have, again, Susan Roman, you have Artemis, sorry, that's, sorry, that's Artemis, you got Susan Roman, you got uh, Sugar Lynn Be Beard? Beard. Beard. Beard, thank you. For Rini down here, even though she, I don't know why she's not post -paired. we got Katie Griffin for Sailor Mars, we got Terry Hawks. Sorry, sorry, that's uh, that's where Vince signed it because of the rose. That's the only place yep. that we could really make sense, and he was happy that we pointed that out. <laughs> and of course, we got Terry Hawks up there. So we got, you know, we got most people. We we would have liked to have had Mercury. We would have liked to have had Venus, as well. But oh well, alas. And we're um, not hey, man, it's still it's still impressive. It's still pretty kicking. Exactly. Now again, over here, just again over here, we have the body pillows. Than that too, the newest ones. So, we got we last at uh, Fan Expo in Toronto. So when, the week after we came back from Vancouver, we went there and they had both Moon and Mercury there, and we got a good deal on both of them. Too, so we got that Mercury for obviously because you know Veronica like dresses as Mercury, so it makes sense. She's my alter ego. Exactly. <laughs> and Sailor Moon because you can't go wrong with Sailor Moon. That's true. Now this the Sailor Mars one. This was an interesting thing. Okay, and I have proof. Funny story. I, yeah, I have funny story. I bought, I recently bought a Sailor Jupiter body ordered. pillow, ordered a Sailor Jupiter body pillow from Amazon, from an Amazon affiliate company. They sent it, the, the package said Sailor Jupiter. The invoice inside the package said Sailor Jupiter, but yet when I opened it up, I got Sailor Mars. Now, nothing wrong with Sailor Mars. It's just, it's just funny to me that they said Jupiter twice and they still send something that says, clearly says Sailor Mars. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. But again, no worries. So again, before anyone asks, like I'm going to keep Sailor Mars. There's always time to get chilly. Exactly. Jupiter. I'm going to Jupiter. Jupiter and Venus aren't going anywhere. I'm Besides, gonna... you've got like barely room on your bed for you now. With these three <laughs> sexy ladies. Yeah, yeah, too. We'll soon, hopefully, soon, well, four. <laughs> but, too, but again, you know, it's just funny to me how that happened. Now, of course, back here we got Sailor Mercury. It's been lurking in the background behind you. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Well, I'm what we acknowledging now. We got Sailor Mercury right here. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this. Yep, just be careful. Oh, there we go. Yep. Nice. Yeah, Sailor Mercury. Kind there of, you, you know, the, uh, what, well, I think my second favorite Sailor. Now, before we get it, now down here we got the Sailor Moon manga. We got the original, well, not the original, the original Tokyo Pop versions. The only, I'm only missing two issues. I'm only missing. Uh, I think I'm missing seven and eight. Issue seven and eight. So again, Samara, Sarah, whoever wants to help me out here, I'm looking for seven and eight of the original Tokyo Pop Sailor Moon. Now I got, here's the newer versions. So I got Sailor V, I got all the way up to number eight. So number nine is coming out, I believe, next week, next Tuesday, July, January 29th. So, I'll be up. Now, again, some of you probably seen that I have extra copies here. I have extra copies of seven, eight, and six. And the reason for that is these are for Nicole Hall, when she comes up for in May. I'm going to have this plus nine, plus ten, maybe eleven if it's out by that point by May 25th, so that she can take these home because I've already sent her one through five already so I'm get buying these for her so Nicole if you have these to return them <laughs> like that too because I have these for you waiting for you too so I got those now again again just pointing it out again because again Carnage is my set my favorite uh, Spy Spider-Man villain we got the Carnage action figure from the Sinister Six too right there that's really cool too and then we got now for anyone who's reading the other stories for the story I'm writing right now, we got Doc Ock, we got the Lizard, Goblin, Spider-Man, and we got the big guy Venom. And again, down here, if you can't see, we got some more Spider-Man action figures, but they're kind of hard to see, so yeah. like that too. Now, last thing, well, second last thing I should say, is I collect Sailor Moon fan art, too. So again, here, I'll hold these up here, so that you maybe can get down. Okay, so again here, some of these are repeats. So here's Sailor Mercury that we got. Same, same artist as the ones that we got signed. 
earlier. So the Sailor Mercury. We got Sailor Venus. And Artemis. And Artemis. So yeah, don't forget Artemis. Two. Very, I love the artist. Okay, so here's again, repeat of Mercury. We got another one just to complete the set. Mars. Mars, sorry, Mars. Wow, I'm sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Jupiter. Two. Now, the artist said that they could, they had a moon in progress, but they didn't have a time in time for the show, the show, the convention, too. So that's why moon's missing. But we would have definitely got one there signed by Terry for sure. This is another one. This is a panoramic shot. I like that one. This one, yeah, shows everybody. All the sailors, all the way up to, yep, see Saturn, got Pluto, got the lovers, like that too. It was cut in two, so that's why we tried to line it up as best we I can. I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty well too. Now, the only thing, now again, anyone who looks at this and studies this will realize that there's one person missing. Okay, can anyone guess? I'll give you a second. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> give me a second. Ooh, careful, careful, I'll fall over here. Can anyone realize who's missing? I'll give you a hint. Artemis is there. No but, Luna. But there's no Luna. Which is really weird, because if, if you look, you don't see Luna at all in this entire picture. She's, like, not in any pictures, though, really. Oh, well, which is kind of weird, because, you, again, if you have Artemis, why wouldn't you have Luna? It's true. So, it was, it was kind of strange, but, again, still a very beautiful picture, and I think the artist is really talented. Oh, yeah. Too. And here's an oops, here's your one. Here's Sailor Uranus. A lot of people's favorites. I think it's a great likeness of her. Yeah, yeah. that is a fantastic shot of her. Too, so there's a, another good shot. Here's another good, here's a really good picture of Eternal Sailor Moon. Like so that. a lot of, uh, I like this one. It's very dramatic. I like the bold colors. If I ever chose to wear the wings. <laughs> yeah, again, we could, again, if we ever put together a Sailor Moon, Eternal Sailor Moon cosplay for Veronica, I think uh, this is the one she, version she would want. Oh, yeah. And this is something I thought was interesting. This is the many anime forms of Sailor Moon, or uh, sorry, Usagi or Serena. And it kind of, if you kind of, you can kind of see it follows. It kind of starts off with regular, goes to Sailor Moon, goes to Super Sailor Moon, goes to Eternal, and then finishes up with, again, I guess the most powerful and form form she takes in the anime is Princess Serenity, too. Um, Again, I would like, to, again, I like the moon in the background. So I think, so you can kind of see, it kind of zigzags a little bit, which I thought was a nice kind of flow pattern. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's put that. You're running out of room. That's okay, I got it. Okay, and now here, last of my posters here, we got three posters I found out of a comic shop in Oakville, actually, surprisingly. So we got the final shot of the transformation from, I believe, that is... Season S, the S season. So I like that the, one. The, the, death, the the Heart Snatchers, the Death Busters, the Bureau of Bad Behavior, however you know them as. <laughs> so we got the final shot of, of Sailor Moon's transformation. We got the power of the original five. A nice still shot of that. So I think this is a really good one. I really, really enjoy. You get that? Yep. Mm -hmm. And again, we have the four, four civilian identities here, which I thought was really snazzy shot too. So we have again, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. Uh, I can't recall which episode this scene is taken from, but it could be from anything, I guess. But I, I like this one because it, you know, it really shows the, you know, the core of the sailors. What if I ah. You might as well explain that poster on the wall behind you there, because it's just in the background. Oh yeah, sorry. And this is, sorry, yeah, again, this is like I have Mercury, the Mercury, Wall Scroll, I got Sailor Jupiter, my favorite one, obviously, my favorite sailor, too, actually. And this was brought back from my brother from San Diego, because he and his wife went to the San Diego Comic-Con, and they, well, they knew my uh, obsession <laughs> with Sailor Moon. So they saw Jupiter, and they, they knew I had, the tat I had the tattoo at this point, so they were like, hey, this is, this screams Sean, so <laughs> they brought back the Wall Scroll. So this was the first one, and then the Mercury one on the other wall was the one I just got about two weeks ago, two, week, two and a half weeks ago, too, so I uh, guess you can kind of tell I don't have a whole lot of space. Yeah. Okay, now last things. We have the plushies. Again, so we got, we start off Eternal, we got Tuxedo, I think I want to thank Tara, uh, sorry, Tia Hall for that. We got Mars, 
Mer uh, Venus, Mercury. This is the biggest Jupiter I could find. Jupiter plushies are very hard to find, or at least in my experience they are, too. So again, just to complete the set, I have to say the Jupiter. The only thing I find funny is that it looks like she has sideburns, too. So she kind of looks like an Elvis. That's awesome. So too, so I kind of, I kind of find that cute. We got Chibiusa, and there you go. We got re regular Sailor Moon, winking Sailor Moon, kind of doing what Venus is doing. Uh, the two hearts are a gift from Sarah Dostal from our trip to uh, out west to Vancouver. I got a Sailor Venus keychain. So Troy, you can <laughs> you can eat your heart out for that one. That and again, this is another gift from out west. I got a Sailor Jupiter keychain. That's really cute too. Yeah, again, this is I guess I guess a still shot from the uh, the the uh, intermissional cut in the R season with the, with the little baby thing. I have an extra Carnage badge. Again, not to, just to bring it back to Red Shadow, extra Carnage badge um, that I bought at a thing. I also got the matching Venom one too. So that was so I got those. And the last thing. Actually, two last things. Like, I swear I keep saying last thing, but I got two shirts. Well, I got this shirt from QT. I think it's a, Q, a custom t-shirt, QT. I like that too, about uh, three, three and a half weeks ago, and I love the shirt. It looks great. It's called Moon Knight Rising, too, so I kind of like a, uh, a take on the Batman. That's a really cool too, shot so. with the fig, uh, dolls behind it. Yeah. So we got that. So I got that. So I got two of these just in case one gets damaged or nice. whatever. And plus, you know, QT retires their shirts, so there's no guarantee I would ever get it again. So I got two just to be safe. And the last thing, not really Sailor Moon related, but I wanted to show. I got this at a Zen shop. I saw it. And I got it says Serenity. So, you know, I, I think it's cute, and you know, Veronica thinks it's cute too because it has a double meaning for me. Too. So I got a nice little Serenity thing, ignore the uh, character cheer from way back in the day. But So I got the Serenity thing, and I also, again, this is also a Japanese calendar. The second year in a row I have a Japanese calendar, so again, Mount Fuji, so I can you know, feel like I'm in Japan whenever time I wake up. And yeah, that's, uh, I believe that's it. I believe that's my entire... Gone full circle. Gone full circle, basically. The only thing I think I could talk, still talk about is I have, again, the uh, Sailor Moon, the 20 minute mini movie that the uh, people did earlier this year. I too, I got the special edition with all the outtakes and stuff like that, so that was really good. Done by, I think, uh, I can't remember who did it, but, uh, so I'm waiting on the Dead Moon Circus by James Piniti, Pinita, and I, I apologize if I said that wrong. Like that too, please don't slap me. Like that too for his Dead Moon Circus. Um, saw the first one, saw the trailer for the first one. Dying to see it. It looks really good. Exactly. And I'm waiting on David Paratsky's. Again, if I say that last name wrong, I please apologize. For his Sailor Moon, the Sailor Moon the movie. Too. As again, I've told, as I've told some people, Veronica and I are planning to have a Sailor Moon movie a when those two movies come out with our friends. Sailor Moon cookies, cake, whatever. We're gonna have a party with those two movies, and maybe we'll start with this one for a warm up, too. So uh, yeah, it will be a fun day. So again, uh, yeah, that's my sailor. That's all my sailor fun haven. Sa sailor haven. Again, last two things. I swear. I swear this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, how can I forget these? Sorry, we have sailor moon pillows. Wow, how did I miss those? We got sailor moon pillows. I bought these. I believe at Comic Con not uh, two years ago. So again, this is based off the I'm gonna say the S season because it has doesn't have Saturn. Too, but we have that. Too, so nice little throw pillow, nice little color. And then we have another pillow. Again, this I think this is gonna be based, I think this is based off the R season. I could be wrong, or maybe regular C season one. But yeah, so we got these nice two throw throw pillows. The that were nice. And last thing. Again, not really Sailor Moon, but sort of related. Atlas of the Universe. So you have all different planets and all their specs and stuff like that. So you're learning about the universe. My husband, the space nerd. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with being a nerd. Nothing at all. I'd have to. And again, I'm not going to open it up, but this is 
This is my e-reader. This is where I... Back up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I have no space. That's okay. This, <laughs> this is my e. This is my e-reader. This is where I read a lot of Sailor Moon fan fiction that I find on the net. I'm reading a great story right now called The Daughter of Jupiter by... Uh, I think it's called Inventing Shadows. I think her pen name is Inventing Shadows. Too. I recommend this, and her, her and her and the part of, uh, the prequel to that is the Jovian Sensei. Great stuff. Um, if you have a Sailor Moon story, you want, I would love to read them. I would love to add them and take them with me so I can read them wherever I go. Um, yeah, so that's my collection, the Sailor Moon collection. It's always it's ever growing. I hope uh, Sarah can like help me get the Sailor Venus that she set, saw at the Value Village. And hopefully, if you guys can have give me a uh, help with getting a Saturn, a Pluto, and what else am I missing? And a Mercury action figure, preferably those styles. That would be great. So hopefully, I'll talk talking to you guys soon, and hopefully, we'll have big news in about two weeks. Okay.